Hi, I'm Paris, and while everyone is out doing their Cyber Monday shopping for high-tech gadgets, I'm trying to get one to work. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you may know that my daughter Roxana, when she was five, had West Nile virus, which left her right arm paralyzed, but she is big into PC gaming. Now, PC gaming is typically done with a keyboard and a mouse, one hand on each. In her case, though, she has a mouse with multiple programmable buttons. So she has her mouse programmed in the different games to do all the different functions, to turn the person, to go forward and back, to aim the gun, to do all of that. She's got it all programmed in and lightning fast reflexes that allow her to actually be a pretty good player. However, visiting my brother this Thanksgiving week, he's really into Xbox console gaming. And if you're familiar with that at all, this is the type of controller that you have. Now, she can't manage this. She has tried it every which way to try to get access to everything she needs to play the game with one hand. She just can't make it work. So that we can play online games together with my brother who's up in Washington State, we need some way for her to be able to have a controller that'll work with just one hand on the Xbox looked far and wide and Microsoft doesn't seem to offer anything like that. But then I found out about a company that makes a product that's sort of a go-between between between different controllers, including keyboard and mice, and different gaming systems. I don't think they were especially thinking of one-handed gaming when they developed this device, but a nice side benefit is that I think she's now going to be able to use her programmable mouse with the Xbox One, thanks to this device. The Cronus Max Plus is a device that looks like a USB dongle. You can see it works with a number of games and a number of different gaming systems. So if you really like playing on the PlayStation, you go to your friend's house, all they have is an Xbox. Normally you'd be at a disadvantage playing there because you're stuck using an Xbox controller you're not that familiar with. With this device, you can actually bring your PlayStation controller over, set it up, and use that to play the games on an Xbox. I picked up the Cronus Max Plus for about $80 on Amazon. It's cheaper on their website, but the last I looked, they were completely sold out. Find out more about it at the link down below this video. And in addition to getting your gaming system to work with other controllers, you can also use this to modify your controller. There are packs that you can download that will allow you to customize um, some of the buttons on the controller, which I always hate where they put reload, and I always thought it would be so nice if I could just have it where I want it, I wouldn't be running out of bullets. Yeah, that's the only reason my scores are so low. So there are actually three USB devices here. I believe this is a Bluetooth adapter for uh, this hooking up wireless controllers with the PlayStation, and two cables. This looks like an audio cable and a USB cable. You will need to hook up your controller to the Cronus Max Plus device and it grabs the security key or some identifier key and then presents that to the gaming system so it can authenticate. So while you're using this, whether it's with a keyboard, I think, or even a different controller, one of your controllers that came with your system is going to be tied up because its security identifier is going to be used by this device when it's emulating and pretending that a keyboard, mouse, or that PlayStation controller actually should be working on the system. Now there is a lot this can do, so there are extensive instructions. I'm hoping just these steps that are what I need to do to get a keyboard and mouse working with an Xbox One. Here you can see what's what on the device, and here's mine right out of the box. First thing I'm going to do is plug the device into the USB port of my computer so it can get updates. Also using the keyboard and mouse emulation, you need to have a computer hooked up the whole time that you're doing that. It's already setting up the software for it. I downloaded and installed the Cronus Pro software. It immediately detected it, told me I needed a firmware update, went through that process, and I was interested to read in their latest news that some steering wheels for different games on the PC and other devices can now work with this to give you actual steering wheel control in different games on the Xbox One. Step number one is to connect the Cronus Max Plus to USB port of the Xbox One. Step two is to take a micro USB to standard USB cable, plug it into the front of the Xbox controller, and the other end into this port. That wouldn't meet. <laughs> Next up is to connect the device you want to use on the Xbox. So in her case, it'll be this wireless mouse, which has its own controller piece. I'm going to plug that into my computer. 
Okay, that's working. Now to hook up the cable from this to the computer and see what the software on it says. Everything's connected and looks good. Up at the top here, I'm going to go to XAIM, which will allow me to set up the mouse to work in place of the Xbox One controller. Okay, now it didn't tell me I was gonna to have to figure out what to do here. Apparently there are a lot of options you can set. I'm gonna go with the generic for a game that I think we have on the system. So I've chosen the layout for Halo 5. I think we have that on the system. Here are all the individual inputs you can use based on this controller. And then to enter capture mode will allow me to map the different uh, mouse buttons and functions to match up at least some of these. Roxanne and I went through some figuring stuff out in the app and we have some controls now on the mouse in Gears of War 4. Roxana, you want to go ahead and show what you can do. So you can download the general overlay which sets it for keyboard and mouse in this game. But Roxana wanted to play using just the mouse so we had to go in and manually set some of the controls in the XAIM plugin. So what do you need me to do? Are Give you... me a weapon with actual ammunition, please. So now I'm still on the keyboard here because we haven't mapped these over yet. So okay, change weapon. You got no bullets. Well, you have a few. Oh <laughs> my gosh. My gosh. So Roxana is able to play all this mind. using just the mouse. We also discovered that to individually program the mouse buttons to duplicate what the buttons on the controller do, you go over it, right click, you have these options, or you can click mouse button, press the button on the mouse that you want to assign to the same function that that button on the controller has. I set it to one of the side buttons on the mouse and you can now see underneath the keyboard number five, a little indicator that shows that it's assigned to a mouse button as well. The Cronus Max Plus has so many more options and things you can get into in detail. A lot of people have written layouts for using the controllers with the different systems, with the mouse, with the keyboard for different games. You just have to download those and install them and you can take advantage of all the hard work someone else put into setting it up or you can go in and manually set it up exactly how you like it. And with that, you can no longer complain that it's the lack of the right controller that makes you such a bad player. I've really just scratched the surface of what you can do with this, but Roxana will go in and program it in detail so she can use the mouse to play the Xbox games with my brother online. See you on the next review.